There's no question that we agree with the president that there needed to be a stimulus bill. Uh, uh, it's unfortunate that we have still 200,000 bridges in this country that are in disrepair. It's unfortunate that we have highways that are in disrepair. It's unfortunate that we have water lines and sewer lines that are in disrepair. And they got short shrifted uh, in the stimulus. The question is, is when we run $1.4 trillion deficits, the money we spend ought to be a high priority for the American people as a whole. And as you go through this, you're going to see that it's not necessarily a high priority. It's not necessarily something that's going to create jobs. We outlined $7 billion of what we think is waste in this report. But if, in fact, you really want to create jobs with deficit spending, then you need to be doing it in the area where you can create the most jobs that create something of value for the American people as a whole. And I'll outline one project. You have an empty mall in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, that gets $5 million. It's still an empty mall. It's a private, uh, privately owned mall, and yet we take $5 million to do geothermal heat on something that's not going to be utilized in the future, at least has very little likelihood of being utilized in the future to its full extent. The American people have to realize that the priorities ought to be what creates the most job and what gives the best value to the American people, not who's most well-connected and who's most well-politically connected. That the government has spent an average of $246,436 to create a single job that pays $59,867 per year. Half the contracts were initially awarded, were not subject to full and open competition, and we're not for a fixed price. Whenever you do this, you end up with outrageous awarding of government and taxpayers' dollars to ver do very ineffective and sometimes outrageous things. We have uh, highlight 100 projects around America that are funded or will be funded by stimulus dollars. Uh, he mentioned the Oak Ridge, Tennessee shopping mall, not $5.9 million for digital TV advertising agency that created three jobs, $4.7 million, $4.7 billion, $4 billion to Lockheed Martin to develop supersonic corporate jet travel. Uh, I know that um, corporate jet travel is not the highest priority of most Americans in my state today. The list goes on and on. on the very uh, uh, economically deprived area of Martha's Vineyard, $787,000 for a test program there that would allow parties to control a homeowner's energy use from outside the home. Um, $2 million to help build a replica railroad as a tourist attraction in Nevada. In recent years, the residents there at Carson City rejected a proposed sales tax to help fund the tourist attraction, so now everybody's taxpayers are footing the bill. I'd like to conclude, I can't leave out my Arizona projects that have been awarded. $500,000 to Arizona State University to study the genetic makeup of ants to determine distinctive roles within the ant colony. And then, credibly, $450,000 to the University of Arizona to study division of labor in ant colonies and develop a model for humans to determine the optimal strategy for distributing a specialist in a variable work environment. I had no idea that so much expertise uh, concerning ants uh, resided uh, in the major universities of my state, and I must say, I, I say that with an element of pride, but uh, I'm not sure that it is deserving of these uh, taxpayers' dollars. Uh, whenever you're dealing with these huge amounts of money, it requires the closest kind of supervision. I think it's pretty clear that billions and billions and billions, as much as 50 already, have been spent on projects that don't create jobs. In my state, real unemployment is 17 percent. Uh, we rank second in homes underwater as far as home loan mortgages being uh, less of value than the mortgage payments and serious economic problems, and we're going to spend money on ants.